three, two, one, go! Whoa! We're gonna show you how Hot Wheels race through loops. Today we're talking about loops. They loop, they make your car loop, and they look like a loop. Check this out. Let's see that in slow motion. Wow! The car's speed gave it enough driving force to move through the triple loop kit. Driving force? I think we have a thing or two to learn. Let's build some track. Driving force is the power or energy behind something in motion. Let's see which cars have enough driving force to overcome gravity and complete the loops. Okay, ready? Three, Three two, two, one, go! So some cars made it through the loops and some didn't. Looks like the car racing in the lanes closest to the gravity drop had enough driving force to overcome gravity. The car's speed gave it enough driving force to move through the triple loop kit. Oh! Driving force is the momentum that keeps the cars going to overcome the force of gravity pulling it to the ground. These cars didn't have enough driving force to get all the way through the loops. What's wrong, Z? Just so beautiful when they go fast. I agree. Ready to kick things up a notch? Let's go unlimited. Here we are at the Hot Wheels headquarters. This is the biggest multi-loop in the world! <laughs> oh. Shall we? Three! Two, one, go! No way! We gotta see that one again. The car's speed gave it enough driving force to get all the way around the loops. What? You ready for more cars, Z? More cars is my middle name. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Go! Oh, look at that! I've never seen it like that before! Looks like the car had enough driving force to overcome gravity. No way! Yo! Wow! Whoa! Wow! Well, that'll do it for this episode of Labs Unlimited. What will you build next? The possibilities are unlimited. We're gonna show you how to jump a Hot Wheels car as far as possible by learning about distance. Today on Hot Wheels Labs Unlimited. Distance! Distance. What? Distance is a measurement of how far an object travels while moving. Gravity is the reason cars stay on the track. And when that track is on a slope, gravity pulls cars down towards the ground, creating speed. More speed means more distance. All right, Z, you think our cars will jump over these ping pong balls? Only one way to find out. Three, two, one, go! Oh, boom, success. What's next? Now, how about these baseballs? Okay, a little tougher. It's gonna be a close one. Go! The tall ramp has a sweet arc, but not a lot of distance. Skateboard time. 
For me, the long jump ramp is the best ramp. It has a mid-angle launch that sends cars high and far. I'm ready. Go! Oh, not quite. Maybe speed is what we need here. It just didn't go fast enough. Uh -uh. But what if we give it a little boost? Let's do it. This might be the best idea ever. More speed means more distance. Only one way to find out. Three, two, one, go! Whoa! Sweet, it worked. The boosters increase the car's speed. More speed means more distance. Oh, oh that was cool. Z, I think it's time to, to go, go unlimited. Let's take it outside for a long jump competition challenge. All of our competitors will have to race through the triple loop kit, then through a loop kicker, into a booster, and finally through the Revan launch to fly off the long jump ramp. The car that launches the farthest wins. Ready? Our first competitor is... Tooligan! Three, two, one, go! That was over four meters! Up next for the long jump competition, Rip Rod! Let's see how Rip Rod does. Ooh, Riprod grabs the lead at just under five meters. But can Slide Kick beat that? Oh, so close! Cliprod is up for the challenge. I have a good feeling about Cliprod. Cliprod takes the lead with a jump of 6.2 meters. Next up is LaFasta. That was insane. Nearly seven meters on that jump. Night Shifter is the last competitor. Ooh, can Night Shifter bring home the victory? Let's see if we have enough speed. What a launch! Oh, that was some distance. Oh, so close. Congratulations to LaFasta, who jumped the farthest in the long jump competition. We'll see you next time on Hot Wheels Labs Unlimited. Peace out, guys. You ready for the trick shot? Let's do it. Go! Today, we're talking trick shots with trajectory. Trajectory is the path of where an object will go when it moves through the air. The angle of the ramps determines the trajectory of the cars. So it's where I think a car will go when I stunt it off a jump. You got it. Oh, look at that. The triple loop short ramp has a low angle trajectory. The car launches really low to the ground. This ramp is good for trick shots where the car needs to launch close to the ground, like skipping a rock on water. While the triple loop tall ramp has a high angle trajectory. The car goes high in the air. This ramp is good for trick shots where the car needs to go high, but arc back down, like shooting a basketball. I swished, that was a swish. No, it actually missed. Small ramp is like, nah. But the tall ramp is like, hey, stunt time. Exactly. Whoa. That was cool. The cars get more air with the tall ramp, but they go farther with the short ramp. The long jump is giving these cars great distance. It has a mid-angle launch that sends cars high and far. Oh, almost. That was great. Now, let's go unlimited.
All right, so Z and I already love the triple loop. Now it's time to step it up to an improvised quad loop. I'm gonna put everything we learned today to the test. So let's do this. Let's do this. Three, two, one, go. Oh! <laughs> let's see that in slow motion. A triple loop short ramp has a low angle trajectory. Whoa! <laughs> This ramp is good for trick shots where the car needs to launch close to the ground. That was epic! All right, I'm gonna prime this rev launcher. Are you ready for the trick shot? Let's do it. One, two, three. And I'm gonna catch the car using this orange stunt box. I don't think that's tricky enough. Using this blue speed box. Also not tricky enough. Using this yellow catch bucket. There we go. Safety first. All right, Z, you ready? I got circle tracker right here. Three, two, one. The angle of the ramps determines the trajectory of the cars. Yeah. That was sick, dude. What are you doing? I got a trickier shot for you. What? Three, two, one, go! We gotta see that one again. I've never seen it like that before. That was sick. That was epic! That'll do it for this episode of Labs Unlimited. What will you build next? The possibilities are unlimited. Three, two, one, go! We're gonna show you how to build the fastest Hot Wheels track by learning about potential energy. The steeper the angle of the track, the faster the car goes. The reason? A scientific principle called potential energy. Potential energy is the stored energy an object has because of its position. So the car on top of this track has potential energy before it launches. That's right, Z. Gravity is what pulls these cars down the track. The higher up the cars start, the faster they will race down the track. The Grupo X24 has the greatest potential energy of all the cars because it's on the tallest and steepest track. Roger Dodger has the lowest potential energy because it's on the shortest and shallowest track. That's right, Z. And when we release the gates, that's when it becomes kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is energy in motion. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Kinetic energy in action. Can we see that again? Grupo X24 is the winner! <laughs> All right, Z, you ready to go unlimited? Let's do it. Let's take a look at some of the coolest Hot Wheels track videos ever made. Epic gravity drop. Wow! <laughs> look at those super steep slopes. You ready, Billy? All right, let's do it. Three. Three. Two, one, go! Let's go to the Mega Ramp, one of the biggest builds we've ever done on the Hot Wheels channel. Whoa, look at those super steep slopes. Yeah, it's gonna give those cars some epic speed. These cars have potential energy, and releasing the gates allows them to convert that into kinetic energy. Three, two, 
One, go! No way! What? Oh! 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 Well, that'll do it for this episode of Labs Unlimited. What will you build next? The possibilities are unlimited. Today on Hot Wheels Labs Unlimited, we make Hot Wheels cars go as fast as possible with acceleration. Whoa! Acceleration is the rate of change in speed of an object. So it's just a scientific word for going faster? Exactly. Allow me to explain. Depending on how they're launched, these cars will have different rates of acceleration. The fastest cars will make it down the track and launch off the triple loop kit. Wow. Can we see that again? Wow. That one's going fast. Some of them didn't make it. They didn't have enough speed to make it up the slopes. They decelerated. Decelerated? It's a scientific word for slowing down. Billy, we need to get back to speed. Those boosters should do the trick. Now we're talking. Three, two, one, go! The lanes with boosters accelerate the cars up the triple loop kit ramp. The lanes without boosters decelerate as they approach the ramp. Woo! That was fast. Nice work, Z. The boosters increased acceleration, giving the cars enough added speed to clear the ramps. Whoa! <laughs> that was great. Now, let's go unlimited. We set up 48 boosters and 32 loop kickers to really accelerate these cars. Three. Two, one, go! No way! Each booster adds acceleration, giving the car more speed to race to the end. That was sick! Three, two, one, go! Whoa. The loop kicker accelerates the car, giving it enough speed to race through the loop. But as the car comes out of the loop, it starts to decelerate until the next loop kicker accelerates it. Wow! Now let's see acceleration applied to cars of all sizes. Remember, acceleration is the rate of change in the speed of an object. Go-karts have engines that increase acceleration, just like how boosters increase acceleration of Hot Wheels cars. That was cool. Look how fast they accelerate around those turns. That was epic. Did you see that? Now let's kick it up a notch and see how a full-size car accelerates. Cars have engines that increase acceleration, just like how launchers increase acceleration of Hot Wheels cars. The car maintains its speed by continually accelerating, just like a series of boosters. That'll do it for this episode of Labs Unlimited. What will you build next? The possibilities are unlimited.